Hello there, my fellow YouTubers. It is I, John Maverick, and welcome to a new thing that I like to call Maverick Speaks, where I take a couple of subjects and talk about them with you guys, uh, let you know my opinion on them, and yeah, you can feel free to comment on them in the comment section, wherever you desire. And um, yeah, I hope the sound is alright. I was trying to get my video camera working um, with sound, so I could record this video with that, but um, it decided to say, nope, if you, you can uh, use your computer with your shit in camera, and um, yeah, so that is what we're gonna do, so use it in tight, because it's gonna take a while. And yeah, um, no I do not have yellow teeth if, if you're wondering, I don't want to know why you should wonder it, you could really don't care, but yeah, just the, um, the picture, yeah, makes me look like someone with the worst mouth of hygiene you've ever seen, nice, okay, <laughs> um, yeah, I have made a little list here, so I won't forget anything. Um, so the concept, a little more detailed, what um, this Maverick Speaks is about, is I'll probably do it once a month, or maybe two, twice a month. It depends on, um, since I am a huge wrestling fan, I will make it for that, um, where I like go in and comment on WWE events, uh, I'll see what's the good part and what's the not so good parts, um, break down every matchup and, and, and stuff like that, so yeah, okay, sounds fair, sounds fair to me, it's my YouTube channel, deal with it, <laughs> okay, um, yeah, first up, you haven't seen me in a while, have you? Haven't. Okay, <laughs> um, and the reason because I haven't been around recently is because I have been celebrating my 20th birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. In 20 years old. Yeah, yeah. In 20 years old. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, last Wednesday, um, August the 17th, I turned 20 years old. And of course, there wouldn't be any um, Wrestling Wednesday, that Wednesday. Actually, there haven't been Wrestling Wednesday for a couple of weeks now, I think. And I'm sorry for that. Um, but yeah, um, I will expect there to be um, Wrestling Wednesday tomorrow. So... That's cool, um, but in the future, um, I will do Wrestling Wednesday videos when I can. It probably won't be every Wednesday, because come in one week, actually, in, yeah, in one week, exactly one week, I will begin to school again, it's an academy actually, fancy shit but it really isn't, <laughs> um, so yeah, there will be homework and, and studying and, and stuff and also I like to hang out with friends and stuff like that, but fear not because I will upload Wrestling Wednesday whenever I can, and of course also other videos, we have the um, Dark Souls but irritates me as fuck. Uh, <laughs> and we have GTA from time to time. We have um, Just Cause. And we have the uh, brand new uh, Saint Throw, Get Out of Hell. Um, what else do we have? We have Bro Force. Uh, so yeah, plenty of games, plenty of games. Of course, soon. And little over, a little less than two months, one and a half, I think, yeah, we will get 
WWE 2K17. Mm, I've already pre-ordered it. The NXT special one. That's expensive. Yeah. Sometimes you got to, got to um, sacrifice your money <laughs> if you want what you want. If you want what you like. And with 2K17, um, I think there will still be Wrestling Wednesday. This year will. Um, but with the um, Danish Pro Wrestling commentary, on the other hand, I have yet to uh, decide if, if I want to continue that series in 2K17. Because I will have to upload every single one of them, uh, create every single one of them again. And I don't know if I want to. Perhaps I will make all these things for wrestling wrestlers again. Or maybe I will just do other. Create your own wrestlers, yeah. And like make a show with that. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry with the very, very tiny beard that I have going on here. It's so light and so small that you can barely see it, but if I turn like this you can see it see it there. <laughs> I'm still gonna cut it off. <laughs> um Yeah. So that's a little about the future. Um there's some more about that I wanted to talk with you guys about. Um Yeah, of course uh, I mean I mean um in the future there will also be um, some challenge videos um, for example the don't laugh challenge the whisper challenge I've tried to um, get some friends to do the video with me but it seems like I can only find one who's willing to do it at the moment I'd like to at least that we are I don't know three four people I don't know but more than two. Um, this is the guy with the uh, the Bean Boozle challenge uh, that I made over at his channel. The uh, oh, he's changed changed the name for the channel. Um, I think it's Makara now. I'm not sure. Sorry if, if it's wrong. Um, but but yeah, I did a Bean Boozle challenge with him, and he seems to be the only one at the moment who wants to do more these kind of videos with me. Well, I'll try to make more of them, because I like doing that. So, yeah. Uh, what else do we have? Um, I have a, a subject here called Situation About Everything. Yeah, um, that's more about me. <laughs> um, sorry about the weird laugh. Okay. Um, I am what... Two other friends, um, the one of them being Makara, Spicky DK, whatever, uh, <laughs> and another friend, and we are looking around to move out. Um, Makara is already living by himself, but yeah, I won't go into the details about that. But we want to move together, the three of us, because it will be cheaper and we're good friends. Hopefully, we'll stay good friends. Um, so yeah, and me and, uh, my other friend, whose name is Casper, um, we're 20 years old, well, Casper's 20 tomorrow, so, happy birthday, <laughs> and, um, yeah, we'll also like to, to get out and see if we can live on our own, and, yeah, get our own lives, and, Try to be more mature than than we are. So, so yeah. So maybe I'm sorry. I'm just gonna sit a little more comfortable. <laughs> um, perhaps in the future, um, this is not going to be what you're going to see. Actually, you don't really see much. You see a wall, and that's it. <laughs> but maybe it's uh, got another color in the future. Ooh, maybe who knows. Ooh. 
<laughs> um, so yeah, moving out, maybe, starting on education, one week, oh shit, one week, I'm not ready, I'm definitely not ready, I've been told it's just because I'm nervous, that might be right, but I'm, I'm still not ready, not the best at, at paying attention in school and, and stuff, but I'm 20 years old, I gotta, gotta try at least, so yeah. <laughs> um, we also just finished of the Olympics in Rio 2016, and um, that's the first time now that I've been alive there's been maybe six um, Olympics, I think, six? It doesn't quite add up. Because six times four is, um, is 24. Never mind. Um, but yeah, there's been six Olympics since I was born. And this is the first time that I've ever really paid attention to it. And I gotta say, that was, um, that was impressive. Um, at least when you look at it from our country's perspective, Denmark, we received, we had an expectation of hopefully to get 10 medals with us home. And we ended up getting 15 medals, which is the highest number of medals we have ever we have received since 1948. God damn it, 1948. Damn. We received two gold medals, which, if some of you Americans uh, are Americans, are watching this, are like that's not a thing. But to us, it really it really matters. We uh, received one in swimming, and then we received the gold medal for our male handball handball team. And we've never stood in a final in the Olympics in handball for for men. This is the first time, and we take the gold. And that's incredible. Um, the closest we've ever been. Was back in nineteen ninety nineteen eighty two, I think, where we received a fourth place. So that is incredible, and I am very proud to be a fan of the male handball team, also the female, of course. But they were uh, weren't attending the Olympics, so yeah. We received two gold medals, six silver, and seven bronze medals. We uh, were the most winning team uh, who received two gold medals. And compared to uh, population, we were the fifth best country. I think it was. Yeah, fifth best, fifth best country. So that's, um, that's huge. That's very huge for a small country like us. Who's not even at six million people. So yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. And then of course we had a guy like Michael Phelps who just keep on winning and winning and winning and winning and winning, 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 winning and winning. And I can't say that I'm mad at him, not at all. I respect him. And that's that's one hell of a an accomplishment. He is the most winning uh, athlete ever in the Olympics. That is incredible. So yeah, um, I don't want to go too much into the Olympics. Um, I want to. I want to move on. We almost talked for fifteen minutes, and I haven't even been talking about what this actually really is about. But we're getting to there, right? Now, so sit tight, because we're going to start off with the NXT TakeOver, back to Brooklyn. Uh, 
and um, I'll just go to my phone and find the matches because I cannot remember them um, in my head. So yeah, okay, we um, we'll start off with the Austin Aries versus No Way Jose matchup. Um, sometimes I just gotta just gotta think back because I have to remember it the matchups and, and stuff so please bear with me. <laughs> um the Austin Aries No Way Jose match was actually pretty good. Pretty pretty good. Um I like the um the entrance of uh, No Way Jose with the Congo line. Even though it was weird that there was this guy with the Austin Aries T shirt leading the um the conga line that was weird, but okay. <laughs> um, I was. I'll give you also my what I was hoping for and what was what I was um, uh, predicting. Um, I was hoping for no way, Jose. Uh, I didn't really know who I who I thought would win. Um, but I did predict by the by the time that it would be no way Jose, so I was wrong about that one. But um, it was a decent match, um, and yeah, um, Austin Harris got the victory with the last chancery submission. So that's all right, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> um, then we had the debut of Ember Moon taking on Billy Kay with those goddamn long legs, holy f smokes. <laughs> um, I was expecting also, um, why do I keep forgetting the word? Um, predicting, yeah, that was. <laughs> Uh, that Ember Moon would win it because it was his debut. So yeah, and um, my friend uh, showed me her finisher on the independent scene. Um, the corkscrew stunner, and I was just pecking and hoping that she will also get to use that in WWE. And thank God she did. Holy day. I mean, you have the uh, Stone Cold Stunner from Stone Cold Steve Austin, of course. But Ember Moon's Corkscrew um, Stunner is something else. Let's 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 just put it that way. The match itself could perhaps gone on a little longer, maybe just two minutes more or something. I don't know. Um. What I also found found weird was um, Ember Moon had been portrayed in these uh, vignettes that she was scary, spooky, spooky do, uh, spooky girl. I don't fucking know. And she comes out almost like Naomi, like dancing around almost and all happy and hey ho, oh, hey hey ho. Oh. It, it seemed just it just seemed wrong okay to me it it, it it felt weird and also with the evil eyes and, and it, actually also her outfit it seemed more evil she could be faced that that's okay but she came out way too happy for what she was portrayed like so yeah but it was a decent match and I like her finisher that's that's all good it's all good um, Bobby Roode and Andrade Cien Almas. We all knew that Bobby Roode was gonna win because it was his debut. And um, what um, how how do I how do I des describe it? Hmm. 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 His, his debut, his his victory. How how do how do one describe? 
Hmm. Oh yeah. It was glorious. <laughs> um yeah. A incredible entrance by Bobby Roode. I dig his uh, theme song. I think a lot of people dig his theme song. And so now the uh, it's an incredible talent as well. Um, if I should take something bad from the match, is the f I haven't really watched Bobby Roode outside of WWE, for example, in NXT and uh, TNA, I mean. But the glorious bomb. A pump handle drop. I think they should come up with something better than a pump handle drop as his finisher. I checked on it and he has, I don't know if he's still using it, but he has had a uh, fireman's carry neck break thing. And that's, that's really already better than a pump handle drop. So yeah, I I think you can, I don't think you can call a fireman's carry neckbreaker the glorious bump, but it's it's still still better than than a pump handle drop. So yeah. Uh, then we have the revival uh, defending their NXT tag team titles against Gianni Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, and to me that was definitely the match of the night. Plain and simple. Um, I was actually kind of shocked that that the um, Journey Wrestling and, and Psycho Killer um, didn't get the titles, but perhaps um, I've been thinking they're not fully uh, signed to NXT and WWE, so they're still making appearances elsewhere. And I would Perhaps just seemed a little odd that they would come around with the NXT Tag Team Championships. Yeah. But definitely a very, very good match. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Um, I like both teams. Um, I want them to, to display the more vicious side of Tommaso Ciampa a little more, like they did in the Cruiserweight Classic between Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa, that will be very good. They did, they did show a little bit of it at, at TakeOver, but show it more, please. Please show it more. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we move on to the co-main event. Which saw Asuka defending the NXT Women's Championship against Bailey. Bailey. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, also, a good match. I actually think it was better than the first one they put on the two of them. Um, but that being said, they definitely could not top the Sasha Banks Bailey match from the first. NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, but it was a good match, show us, um, and I like both of them, and I'm happy that, um, that Asuka's the champion, she displays this almost beast, or, uh, unbeatable force, and I like that, I, I really do. Then we have the um, the main event, which was Samoa Joe um, putting the NXT Championship on the line against Shinsuke Nakamura, the King of Strong Style versus the Samoan Submission Specialist. I don't really remember a nickname for him at the moment. Okay. Um, the match was good. It's not the best. But it was good. It's good. 
Um, Shinsuke becoming the NXT champion. I see the good points and I see the the bad points about it. Okay, let's 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 see it from from the good side first. Okay, he remains undefeated. He becomes champion. He just shows how uh, it just shows that WWE approves of his work. Um, because he is an incredible athlete and talent. So that is the three major points of why it's a good thing. Now the bad things, first of all, so Mojo is now 0-2 at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. It will take time before Shinsuke will be called up to the main roster. But it's kind of I don't know. I don't know if I want him to to come up fast or stay down in NXT. I don't know. Actually, I want him to get up on the main roster. Yeah. <laughs> um. And three. What was that? I forgot it. Yeah. Um. And three. It became a short um title run for Samoa Joe and. He busted his ass and, and all all that yibbity yep he always comes up with kind of made it feel a little bit little tiny bit for nothing but but it's okay and tomorrow Joe I hope your jaw is fine seriously just come up come up to the main roster so uh, we want you. Um, so yeah, that was the NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, it was alright, it was good, um, I would say 7.5 stars, yeah, 7.5 stars, that's okay, um, moving on to SummerSlam, Uh, uh, um, um, um. <laughs> yeah. Um. Summer Slam had quite the matches, and by that I mean number of matches. Um. Yeah. We'll take the pre-show as well because it was that. It took a lot of time. First off, we had the 12-man tag team match between American Alpha, uh, the Hype Bros, the Usos, Bree Sango, the Ascension, and the Horde Villains. Um, yeah, okay. I like tag team matches. I like the tag teams. But... It seemed to be too much carnage and too much action all over the fucking place. Um, I perhaps could have dealt with, I don't know, an eight-man tag team match or a six-man tag team match. But 12-man, that's, that's, that's too much. Especially how it, how it broke down. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I want to say that I put predictions on every match of SummerSlam as well, and there was only one of them that I had wrong. So I don't know. Yeah. Um, but I did predict that the face team would win again. It was it's just a rematch from Raw. So yeah. I mean from SmackDown, and yeah. Now that the um, the rust has been split up, you would expect that the Ascension and Vault Villains and Bree Sango would get a bigger chance, but nope, nope, apparently not. Vault Villains, incredible athletes, 
did so well in NXT nowadays. Uh, the Ascension. Very well in NXT, the longest reigning NXT Tag Team Champions now. <laughs> Brie Sango, um, also great talent. Um, Fandango defeated Chris Jericho in his debut at WrestleMania. Now, <laughs> Tyler Breeze last year at NXT TakeOver faced Yushin Thunder Liger. Now he had some ups and downs in NXT, but now, <laughs> yeah, it's a shame. It's a real shame. And there's the American Alpha. They're doing fine. They're doing fine. The Hype Bros. Well, to me, as long as as Zack Ryder gets to be on TV, that's, 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 that's fine by me. Um, and the Usos. I like them, actually. I don't know why people hate them. Is it because they're Roman's cousin? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Um, but yeah, just an okay match, I guess. A little too much carnage, but it's, it was alright. And then we had Sami Zayn and Neville against the Dudley Boys. Sami Zayn went from probably one of at least one of the best matches from Battleground, right? Yeah, Battleground against Kevin Owens now to the pre-show of SummerSlam. What the what the hell? I know some people say, oh his time will come But come on. From from the best to, to, to the pre show, it just doesn't seem right, okay? It just doesn't seem right. And, and Neville, he almost just returned and give him something better, okay? And the Dudley Boys, I don't know. They don't deserve to be jobbers, okay? They didn't have so much time left in wrestling Just give them a little more could have given them the 10th WWE tech title reign but yeah it was okay match actually it was it was okay now we have the Sheamus versus Cesaro in a best of Seven fucking matches. Uh, I don't even. I don't. I don't know. Okay. I mean, Sheamus. It's an alright talent. Yes. And Cesaro isn't a tremendous athlete. No doubt about it. But seven. Matches in a row with the two same guys. Nope. Yes. Yes. It's just I don't. I don't condone it. Okay. I I I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. It's it's a new era, and as a guy on on a U another YouTube channel would say, new era, same old shit. There we have it, okay. Yeah. Sorry. And we move on to the main card. And there we saw Jerry K.O. facing off against the team of Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy. Uh, I said it. I said it. I prefer the Colin Cassidy name over Big Cass. It's that's a nickname. You can you can use it as a nickname, okay? Why did they have to? Never mind. The match was good. It was good. Um, and I did expect Jerry K.O. to win actually, because Kevin Owens lost at Battleground. Chris Jericho got an RKO at Battleground, and and so more and Big Cass they won at Battleground, and 
Gary Kale was a new tech team, and the one with the other, and yabba dee yabba dee. Mm? Yeah, they do. They deserve the win. I like Big Cass. Colin Cassidy? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You didn't hear me say the other name. No, 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 no. You did not hear that at all. <laughs> um, and then so I'm sorry, but they, they just deserve the win, okay? And and Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens and, and so I'm sorry, actually, all, all three of them botched the, uh, the pub up. Coke break or whatever you want to call it. But, but it was okay. It was, it was fine. Yeah. Moving on to Charlotte versus Sasha, Sasha, Sasha Banks for the WWE Women's Championship, and this was the only one that I did not get right because I did not suspect them to strip Sasha of her title so early. Twenty-seven days, and that was it. But then I've read and, and I've heard what is the reason because she's hurt and she wants to take some time off for some necking injuries and stuff like that and and I don't know why the fuck I'm doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I was kind of hoping for something more and a longer reign. But it's okay, because the match was good. The match was good. So yeah. Then we had The Miss taking on Apollo Crews for the Intercontinental Championship. And the sad thing about this was... That this was the piss break match. It was. It was the piss break match. And a title match should never be a piss break match, okay? But it was. It was almost six minutes of nothing. I mean, yeah, sure, the match was alright. Apollo Cruz, Cruz, not Cruz, Cruz. He's been marked enough with name mistakes. <laughs> um, it's a tremendous athlete, but in WWE. He's he's not there yet. He's he has no real like character. He uh, to quote another person, he's a smile who can do flips, and that's it. And he's just not ready yet. And also the feud had two weeks build up, and that's just not enough for title change. So of course the Miss should retain the title. Also, of course, the Miz is a good athlete, but yeah, he should keep the title. And um, then we have the AJ Styles versus, I'm sorry, versus John Cena match. What's that? You didn't see that match? You, you, you only saw, you only saw AJ Styles? Running around in the ring again. Oh, yeah, okay. It was like he was fighting someone invisible. Like he couldn't see his opponent. I'm sorry. Tell me so about that joke. Yeah. <laughs> um, AJ Styles, John Cena. Agree? Or disagree, I don't care. I thought it was the match of the night. My goodness, was that a good match. And I was so much hoping that AJ would come out on top. And he did come out on top. And I was predicting it as well. So yeah. And then John Cena left his... Um, shoulder band thing in the ring 
but said never give up and some people think that maybe he is going to retire maybe i didn't know anything at all i don't know maybe he's just playing mind games with us i don't know um but yeah best match of the night without a doubt then we had the tag team championship match between Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson versus New Day. Jumps. You apparently. And uh, yeah. I thought that. I, I, I did predict that Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson would win. I was just expecting it to be like a pinfall or submission and getting the titles, but they won by disqualification thanks to Big E. But, but yeah, I'll, I'll take your prediction correctly. I didn't win anything. But yeah, but yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Seriously, John Eric, shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah. I know the thing with John Stewart, what I was all about, why he should be there. He was healed from a year ago, and now he's face, and he's the new big show, apparently. <laughs> I don't. And then we have the Dean Ambrose versus Dolph Ziggler for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. I don't know about you, but to me. It was a letdown. I'm sorry. <laughs> it let me down. I was expecting more. I did predict that Dean Ambrose would retain the title, but it could have could have lasted a little longer. It could have been some more like false finishes. I mean Dolph Ziggler, he had, a couple of years ago it's Viber series fucking kicked out of everything man he was John Cena and Brock Lesnar combined god damn it and now he takes one 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 dirty deeds and the match is over meh I was disappointed I really was then we had the six women tag team match between Becky Lynch, Naomi, and Carmella, and Natalia, Alexa Bliss, and seemingly Eva Marie, but we all know that she would not. So, well, I was actually a bit sharp because they actually did use her entrance. Music and that guy from Concord, oh, 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 most astonishing, all right, they will not be. Dude, I don't know what that's all about, but okay. But I like the the excuse that she isn't here, she's on vacation due to stress and, and stuff. That's that's a fine way to, to like tell that she has been snorting the bad kind of stuff and. She is suspended for 30 days, but it's okay. And then out comes Nikki Bella. You can look, but you can't touch. So yeah, um, and then I thought to myself, okay, Nikki Bella just returned from neck surgery and stuff like that. Yeah, they're gonna give her the victory, and right as always, except for one match. They did just that. Even though I des I felt like the others deserved it more. Even though Alexa Bliss actually also deserves it because she's new, but the other team had had more new people. It was actually, um, I mean Becky Lynch, she needs it, and Naomi, she almost just returned, and Carmelo is also new, and they deserved it more. But but yeah, one thing is what you like, another thing is what they do. Alright, then we have the pinfall and submissions only, because this is a championship match, 
August for the Universal Championship. Now first, first of all, first of all, first of all, the fact that they unveil the title during a commercial break. I think that's a load of crap. That is not how you introduce a championship. You introduce it when everybody can see it. It's just not cool. It's just not cool. And then they unveil the title. That title. Now they have the WWE World Heavyweight Championship looking like it does, the Women's Championship, and the Universal Championship. They all look the same. The only difference is the fact that, not the fact, is the colors. The WWE World Heavyweight Champion, uh, the WWE World Championship, I'm sorry, is this yellow, uh, gold ish color the women's championship is white and the universal championship is red no fantasy to come up with something unique what so king ever and apparently they ripped off Shinsuke's jacket and then put it on the belt apparently <laughs> but the match itself was good it was pretty good I had a little higher hopes for it and expected a little more out of it, but it's okay. It's okay. It was a good match. I'll come into the aftermatch later. Don't you worry. And Finn Balor winning the championship was the right choice. I like Seth Rollins, and I like Finn Balor, but Finn Balor is new on the main roster. He has all the momentum, he has the fans behind him. And just been champion before, so yeah, they made the right choice. Then we had Rusev versus Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns for the United States Championship. I rarely like when a matchup goes to a non no contest and never even begins. Actually, I was looking forward to this match because I do like Rusev. I don't hate Roman Reigns, but to a certain point I do, but but I like his in-ring in -ring work. Hey. Uh, <laughs> but the fact that the match never got on the way was not cool, not cool at all. Then we had the Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton match. The matchup lasted 11 minutes and 45 seconds. 11 minutes, almost 12 minutes, if you if you wanna do it like that. Okay, let's say let's say 12 minutes. 12 minutes for a Summer Slam main event, the second longest running pay per view for WWE. Minutes, twelve minutes. Okay, okay, okay. Nah, nah. It should have been longer. But then again, it's Brock Lesnar. He cannot go that long. <laughs> um, if you're listening to Brock, please don't come and kill me. I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> and defeating him by TKO. Eh. Eh. It was brutal. I, I don't know if it was a work or a shoot or whatever it was. But you just... You just try to open his skull up like he was opening an egg. I don't know, man. And the bro was just pouring the... Out of his head, man. That was, that was kind of brutal. Mm. And... Yeah. I have one match that I predicted incorrectly so that uh, I don't like when I can predict it that good 
I like being right, but that was perhaps a bit too 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 much. Um, but yeah, um, from one to ten, I would say between six and a half and seven stars. It was, I would say NXT was better. NXT takeover, but, but yeah. It's cool. Now for the aftermatch on Raw last night. And it kind of broke my heart. When Finn Balor had to so vacate the title 20, less than 24 hours after he won it. Because of a shoulder injury. Seth Rollins, I don't know what the hell is going on, but you really have an expertise in, in injuring people. First, you injured Sting, making him retire. Then you had injured yourself, and now you injured Finn Balor. I don't, I don't hate you for it. I mean, it's a high risk work you guys have, and then yeah. Just wasn't fair to me for for Finn Balor, but yeah. At least he can say to the end of time he was the first ever WWE Universal Champion. And then we had the confrontation between a hell of a lot guys, and apparently there was a couple who wasn't there who or in the matches, because then it was announced that it would be four matches, four, 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 four yeah, four, four matches, yeah, <laughs> um, and the winners of these four matches will go into next week's Raw in a fatal four way to determine next, uh, to crown the, the next Universal Champion. And that was alright, and I mean, yeah. We have first up Seth Rollins again in a matchup where his opponent got injured or at least hurt. He scratched Seth some curses over you. I don't know. And then we had who was the second one? Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens. Um, and then Big Cass. Colin Cassidy. Um, and of course. Row, row. And, um, yeah, so that's the Fatal 4 way and the main event for next week. And I've been thinking, they probably going to put the title on either Seth or Roman. But I'm kind of hoping for Kevin Owens or Colin Cassidy. Because. That's new, and that's refreshing. So, uh, I'm uh, I'm hoping for one of them, especially Colin Cassidy. Holy shit! Imagine if he did it. What would that mean to that tag team? All the questions that we probably won't get answered. But well, then we had um, Nat uh, Natalia. What the? Charlotte <laughs> coming out and, and celebrating. Hey, I'm the two time champion. And out comes Bailey. Bailey. You don't. Bailey. And she seems to be the next contender for the women's title. Which is good. Which is good. I hope they can put up some incredible matches. Yeah. Um then we had well the tag team champions celebrating because now they have been champions for an entire year and then we had Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson coming out and, and interrupting and, and and stuff. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um other stuff happened in between of course. Then we had the um, apparently retirement of 
That's the Dudley boys. That was actually kind of a sad um, Raw last night. First the vacation of the title from Finn Balor and then the retirement of my all-time favorite tech team the Dudley boys but I'm not sure if they actually have retired because I mean first of all there was this shining stuff coming out getting their eyes whipped and then Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson came out and whipped their ass the Dudley boys ass and I don't know if What to think? I mean, they should be allowed to deliver one final 3D through a table before they retire. And they didn't. They got, I mean, Devon got planted through a table with the magic killer. So I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced that they have retired yet. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, that was the um, NXT TakeOver Back to Brooklyn, SummerSlam, and the Aftermatch. And I don't know if I have anything left to say. I've also talked a lot. There have been nearly one hour. Holy damn. Um, yeah. Can we come up with anything left? Hmm. I don't know. Perhaps there is. Perhaps there isn't anything left to say. Of course, there is something, but or else I will probably put it in the next video if I come up with something. Or we'll make an extra video. I don't know. I don't care. I do what I want to do. Yeah, um, I think that was it. It's just been the first Maverick talks. I have been John Maverick. I hope you enjoyed watching. Because I enjoyed talking to you guys, not playing for you guys, not commentating on any game for you guys, but talking directly to you. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. Anything else? Nah. Only for you to go like, favorite, subscribe, leave a comment. Because I will appreciate it. And, as always, I, John Myrick, will see you, my fellow YouTubers, next time. But until then, stay well, my all so, all so favorite YouTubers and fellow YouTubers.